It's been learned that earlier this month, two suicide drones were shot down over a base near Baghdad where U.S. troops are stationed. Centurion Sea Ram is a counter to the drone menace and has effectively neutralized the threat. The attack targeted the Baghdad Diplomatic Support Center BDSC, located on the Baghdad International Airport property. This is a U.S. Department of State facility. While some military units and activities are hosted at the facility, it is not a military base. Drone technology has proliferated and being cheap to acquire has made it a weapon of choice for many militant groups around the world. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the Centurion C-RAM system is proving its mettle. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. U.S. troops are leading an international coalition fighting Islamic State IS, in Iraq and Syria. Though the combat mission officially ended at the end of 2021, they still have to carry out a consultative and training mission. Viewers may note that the timeline of the attack coincides with the date of the assassination of General Qasem Soleimani, one of Iran's most influential commanders who was killed by U.S. forces on January 3, 2020. Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi had announced that he would take revenge for the assassination of Soleimani if former President Donald Trump and former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo are not brought to justice over the decision to launch the deadly attack on General Soleimani. Notably, the wreckage of the drones had the slogan Soleimani's Revenge on the wings of one, Revenge Operations for Our Leaders on the other. The Centurion is a land-based variant of Phalanx close-in weapon systems mounted on U.S. Navy warships, intended to serve as a last-ditch defense against incoming anti-ship missiles. Seeking a solution to continual rocket and mortar attacks on bases in Iraq, the U.S. Army requested a quick-to-field anti-projectile system in May 2004 as part of its counter-rocket artillery mortar initiative. The end result of this program was the Centurion. For all intents and purposes, a terrestrial version of the Navy's CIWS, the Centurion was rapidly developed with a proof-of-concept test in November that same year. Deployment to Iraq began in 2005, where it was set up to protect forward operating bases and other high-value sites in and around the capital, Baghdad. In 2008, there were more than 20 Centurion systems protecting bases in the U.S. Central Command Area of Operations. A Raytheon spokesman told the Navy Times that 105 attacks were defeated by the systems, most of them involving mortars. Based on the success of Centurion, 23 additional systems were ordered in September 2008. The self-contained trailer-based system consists of a modified Phalanx 1B CIWS powered by an attached generator and mounted on a trailer for mobility, including the same 20mm M61A1 Gatling gun. The unit is likewise capable of firing 4,500 20 mm rounds per minute. The M61 Vulcan is a hydraulically 
electrically or pneumatically driven, six-barrel, air-cooled, electrically fired Gatling-style rotary cannon. The M61 was originally produced by General Electric. After several mergers and acquisitions, it's currently produced by General Dynamics. Like the 1B naval version of Phalanx, Centurion uses KU band radar and FLIR, or forward-looking, infrared cameras to detect and track incoming projectiles. Viewers may note that the KU band is the portion of the electromagnetic spectrum in the microwave range of frequencies from 12 to 18 gigahertz. Importantly, Centurion is also capable of engaging surface targets with the system able to reach a minus 25 degree elevation. The system can autonomously detect and engage threats. Centurion is reportedly capable of defending a half square mile or 1.3 square kilometer area. One major difference between the land and sea-based variants is the choice of ammunition. Whereas naval phalanx systems fire tungsten armor-piercing rounds, the Centurion uses the 20 mm Height SD high explosive incendiary tracer self-destruct ammunition originally developed for the M163 Vulcan air defense system these rounds explode on impact with the target or on tracer burnout thereby greatly reducing the risk of collateral damage from rounds that fail to hit their target U.S. military has the largest number of overseas bases, and many of them are located in places that are vulnerable to strike by drones. The particular strike brings into focus the kind of challenges U.S. bases around the world may have to deal with. Troops could be killed, and multi-million dollar aircraft can be rendered useless with small and basic primitive drones. Centurion C-RAM is proving to be a robust system. Multiple incoming shots can be targeted, tracked, prioritized, and eliminated before they hit the ground and inflict damage. It can also provide a warning system for nearby forces, enabling them to take cover. It's also much cheaper than a missile-equipped air defense system like Patriot. While the U.S. military is working on multiple laser weapon systems for the counter-drone role, Centurion CRAM will be the go-to system till they become fully operational. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.